Lord forgive me for this trap shit. Sergeant Smack make it backflip. Telly hanged it with the action. With the vital speaking Spanish. Frank Matthews, how I vanish. Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut. Gold BBS is on a beamer. When fat cat was tearing queens up. Fall off the prop and not the re up. Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus. Uptown like I'm baby man. Just caught a touchdown. Come on, man, these nigga know what going on, man. Like he said, nigga ready to shoot me. Ain't no nigga in the city more guns than me. No Except for all these beans, it's a steamer, baby. This ain't rent. It's me and go crazy. We just too deep on another mission. Memphis is the most dangerous city in the country. This report comes as the Bluff City is on pace to surpass a record number of homicides. Police say the drive-by shootings are connected to the murder of a rival gang member and Walker is a suspect in that case. report by 24-7 Wall Street compiled FBI statistics and declares Memphis the most dangerous city in the country. They found that there was more than 18,000 violent crimes reported last year. It's a stat the Memphis Police Department is well aware of. I'm optimistic that we can strive next year for a 5% decrease in part one crime. That is a goal that we plan to um, you know, set for 2022. Steve covers new information tonight about the suspects arrested yesterday after a gun battle that led to a car crash on East Shelby Drive near Lamar. At least two of the suspects had just got out of jail after being charged with violent crimes in months prior. And tonight, they face similar charges. Fox 13's Greg Coy got information today from the TBI. Greg, you also found out the ATF is now involved in this investigation. And Dow, that's because one of the guns stolen was recovered by deputies. And two other guns were recovered as well, but at this point, authorities don't know if those guns were stolen as well. And tonight, investigators continue to build their case against all three suspects that were caught and charged. And tonight, I've learned that one of them even had a warrant out for his arrest. A gun battle between the drivers and passengers of two cars speeding down East Shelby Drive Monday leads to one car that wrecked. Three suspects caught now facing weapons, auto theft, and drug charges. It's just another day in Memphis with, the way, with, with guns in Memphis. TBI records that I obtained show two of the suspects were already facing felony charges, such as weapons charges, auto theft, and even attempted murder. Those crimes happened in October of last year. For one of the suspects, 18-year-old Jalen Rhodes, TBI records show he had no prior criminal record. He now faces charges that include auto theft, evading arrest, and leaving the scene of an accident. Deputies were able to apprehend three suspects inside of that vehicle. Uh, they were able to recover at least uh, one weapon uh, and some narcotics. Officers tell me the mangled Dodge Chrysler driven by the suspects was reported stolen in Bartlett last Thursday. According to the criminal affidavit, the suspects were speeding with a deputy in pursuit as they ran seven red lights and almost slammed into an 18-wheeler at Lamar. This could have been extremely dangerous. Uh, these individuals could have, you know, obviously they could have shot each other. They could have hit a neighbor or an innocent person, or they could have shot one of our, our deputy. I and tonight, of course, the Shelby County Sheriff's Office is still looking for that second vehicle, described only as a white sedan, no other description given because it peeled away before the deputy's car camera could get a good picture of it. Reporting live in East Memphis, I'm Greg Coy, Fox 13 News. People at this home on Mars put up this camera after someone shot at or near their home twice in the same week. Other people who live in this neighborhood say they feel like hostages in their own home because of the random gunfire. That's one thing. We got the cameras in the good Lord to watch over us. So. This man who didn't want to be identified says last week someone shot at his home, shattering the glass in this door. His wife and three kids ages 5 to 17 were inside. Go back to bed, see what's going on, make sure the keys are all right, you know, make sure everything's okay. He says the same people returned a week later when his kids were alone. Fortunately, no one was hurt. The police came, they found like five shells over there inside the street that time. And then the second time, there was shells everywhere.
Police say the victims were able to identify 19-year-old Byron Walker as the shooter. He's now facing seven counts of attempted first-degree murder. The young guy that they got arrested, I don't know him. I heard of him, but I don't know him. Police say the drive-by shootings are connected to the murder of a rival gang member, and Walker is a suspect in that case. Court records show Walker has been arrested three other times since October for armed robbery and the theft of vehicles and weapons. Two of the cases, though, have been dismissed. Give him a slip on the wrist and let him right back out. He's hoping that doesn't happen this time and says something has to be done to stop the crime. We need some, some wake up calls. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I think these young folks out here need some wake up calls. In Southeast Memphis, Melissa Moon, WREG, News Channel 3. Yo, yo, we back. It's your boy Pop a lot. Mob, mob, mob. We on our way to Tennessee with it. Man, stop playing. Y'all know we going to Memphis. And today, we are going to be covering a guy that proclaims himself the most gangster nigga in the city. In a city filled with gangsters that just happened to be ranked the most dangerous city in the United States last year. Now, the guy I'm covering today is going to be a guy I got numerous requests to cover. And it happens to be a guy by the name of Byron Main Op C Mode Walker. Now, here's a little bit of the backstory on Main Op C Mode. I really want to call him an up and coming rapper because he released a song by the name of Send a Hit in May of 2020 that went viral online. And he followed that up with another song called How We Living that amassed about 1.4 million views. But it's really hard to call him a rapper because he has more news articles than he has music videos. So they got that saying, one feet in, one feet out, Simo hanging out the window with it. And it's crazy doing this story because I semi got into it with somebody on the clubhouse app in the mob room when I was talking about rappers these days versus older rappers. And I want to say that I said these new rappers are more gangster or more street than the predecessors. And he went on to bring up guys like Coogee Rap and Eric being Rakim and salute to them. But what I went on to try to explain is in this new age of music where people are essentially coming from their living rooms and out of nowhere, it's no filter process. So you're going to get a lot of gangsters that come into the rap game. And I'm going to say a guy like Simo falls right under that branch with guys like k down in Jacksonville. You could even mention Lit Yoshi and Baton Rouge, who I seen just played out to a 15-year sentence. So I'm definitely on the side that rap is probably more gangster than it's ever been. And when you look at the deaths that hip hop has gone through with Nipsey Hussle, Pop Smoke, King Vaughn, Mo3, Young Dolph, Draco the Ruler, Snooty Wow, Trouble, it's just shootings is definitely part of the game. Gunplay is definitely part of the game. You can look at today's music video in any city, Chicago, Memphis, Atlanta, New York with the drill scene even. So to be honest, it's literally up to you guys to determine whether main Opsy Mode is an up-and-coming rapper or a gangster. But he made his debut in 2020 in the music scene, but he was very, very active in the city of Memphis because in January, Ridgeway Station officers were respond to a robbery that occurred at 3155 Hickory Hill. They would say that a victim was advised by two armed suspects with handguns to give up his money and his keys to his 2011 Nissan Maxima. Authorities would release details of the suspect, saying it was a 5'10", 122-pound African-American with light skin and red hair. Authorities would end up naming Main Opsimo as one of the people responsible for that robbery. And like in other cities, they're going to say that these stolen cars are going to be used to commit other violent crimes. And it wouldn't take long for them to get evidence of that as May Absimo was involved in, uh, in somewhat of a drive-by shooting where two passing by cars 
would be firing on each other. And this would be at broad daylight, right around 3 p.m. So there was a lot of cars out. One of the cars involved in that shootout was a blue charger, and it would end up wrecking. And main op Simo would be caught with two other gentlemen, an 18-year-old by the name of Jalen Rhodes and another guy by the name of Joshua Hulett who, according to WRG, was involved or arrested in connection to numerous car thefts as recent as February of this year. So when you hear him talk about riding them steamers in Memphis, they really bout that shit. Now, 2020 was still fresh, and with the weather starting to warm up in Memphis, in May, we would probably get to the most egregious crime that C mode is attributed to and that's where he would be charged with seven counts of attempted murder because he would shoot into the same house not only once but twice and authorities would say that it has something to do with the death of a rival gang member you can go to several places online and you can see where he has a connection to the Trula Mafia who members are connected to the murder of young Dolph or responsible however you want to put it that's still kind of playing out in the courts but i definitely wanted to get to this request i've been getting so many shout out to the whole city of memphis y'all know i rock with y'all y'all get in the comment box y'all make sure y'all follow me on instagram on twitter pop underscore a underscore lot y'all hit the red subscribe right under this video so y'all know when this real trill spill shit is dropping and y'all let me know what cities we need to go to what gangsters we need to cover who we missed where we haven't been all of that i'm here for all of it it's your boy pop mob mob mob